name is Eric, welcome to another video. In this video we're going to uh, create the removable camouflage for a tripod. Uh, it will work on both tripods if you got a big tripod with stiff legs or a small tripod with bendable legs. The principle is the same, so it will f uh, the same method will apply to both methods. The only thing you need is hunter's cloth and rubber bands. Now you can also replace the rubber bands with raffia if you got it or a uh, string. That is optional, uh, but I will recommend rubber bands. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is cut up three strips that will be able to wrap around one of the le around each of the legs loosely, because as you can see, the cloth works in the way that if you layer them up, the pattern will get more pronounced, and you want to get rid of the straight, natural uh, uh, way the tripod is made, and you want to make it a bit or organic, so you want to distort the outline. That is why you want to wrap it loosely. So that is the first step I'm going to do. Now this doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Quite the opposite, to be honest. You can, you can make it a bit jagged. Okay, so you want to do this a bit bigger than you actually need, it, need them to be. Okay, so that's one. Actually, I might manage to get them all three out of this. Okay, perfect. So now what you wanna do, you wanna add a rubber band, the highest point You want to wrap it around loosely and then get the rubber band over the camo. Okay, perfect. So you want to repeat it a few times, a couple of times, depending on how big or small your tripod is. Just do as you seem fit. Boom. Now, if you get a tripod like this, where you get the, the, uh, the reinforcement in the middle, it's obviously hard to get a rubber band around this because it's not doable. Then you only have to cut the rubber band or use string or raffia either way. Uh, still though, I would recommend a rubber band. Okay, so after you did the whole, the, all the three legs and you're not as happy with the result, feel free, feel free to tug and tear on it a little bit so that it doesn't look as straight as anyway. Now for the next part I recommend you to put on the camera because now we are going to create a hood. Now the hood you want to at least fold this bubble and you want to have a jagged edge in the front because you don't want this to be straight. Now you need to, the reason why you want to put on everything if you can use a microphone and such, put it on so you make the hood big enough. Okay, in order for us to get the hood, you want to put a rubber band in the middle. So you want to get the camera up for this part, put the rubber band over. Put it in place, but they pop the camera back out. Okay, you want to fit the hood, make sure it's big enough, not too small, not too little. Get, a, get yourself uh, some slack, make sure the lens is able to come out, nothing is obstructing it. You don't want to do this too tight so that you get the square outline of your camera again. You actually want to do this loose, so take your time for this step. And make it so it feels right. Okay, so as soon as you are done on how you did the hood and you are happy with the result, you are only one rubber band away to free your camera from all the camouflage. This is really great if you want to uh, film outdoor, but you don't want to be the, the, the weird camouflage freak uh, when you go to an urban environment. Same with the tripod, so only a few rubber bands and you're back to the normal state. So no 
uh, messing around with spray paint and everything. Now the real reason why I want you to guys to use rubber band instead of raffia or, or uh, cordage is because this can now be used to add natural natural vegetation. Just a few leaves. Let's go outside. Let's see how it's done. Okay, so now it's time for the fun part. Really, uh, get your camera in position and use camouflage of the position you are in. Now. I set my camera up here up in the tree and all I did is I took some small twigs, small leaves and put it in, in between the, the rubber bands as you can see. So it only took a, took a few twigs and now it's done. If you want to hide it in the bushes, hide it in the bushes. Just make sure there is something in front of the camera and you're all done. Same camouflage into the tall grass, there we go. Okay, so that was it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I really hope you guys have a nice uh, day spotting, hunting, whatever, uh, having fun in the great outdoors. Uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.